Hello everyone! My name is Courtney Ferguson and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a special effects look of the Earl King. Um, that is going to be my inspiration for what I'm going to try to put on my face. So I thought I would just do a video kind of showing what I've been working on recently. Um, a hobby that I have started which I've really really enjoyed. Um, what I'm doing right there, I've blocked out my eyebrows and I'm just color correcting. So the darkness of my eyebrows won't come through as much. So, but today, if you guys want to try to recreate a look similar to that, pretty much the only thing that you are going to need is liquid latex um, cotton balls. And I also have some water activated uh, body paints to put in some color and stuff like that. So this picture is very, very pretty. It's inspired me and I'll put the artist information down below. But I wanted to basically kind of do a zombie vibe, zombie vibe, zombie fied version of this. Um, the Earl King is considered the king of fairies in German folklore. Um, and it is a representation of death. So what better way to show the death part than to make it a zombie. Am I right? So here I'm just kind of powdering um, my eyebrows, trying to push them down to make sure because I got some bushy, bushy eyebrows. So. so here is where I start building the cotton balls and liquid latex. Um, that's what's on my face is uh, the liquid latex and the cotton balls. And what I'm trying to do is because in the picture, the Earl King has very high cheekbones, which kind of gives him that skull-like appearance. So I'm trying to kind of create that. One thing that I've learned is that if you want something to look a little bit more smooth with the cotton ball is use less cotton ball and more liquid latex and you'll actually be able to manipulate that texture better um, than the other way around. So again, I'm pretty new to this so it's kind of a work in progress. I will also say this is probably not my most favorite look that I've done. It is a little bit more extensive though, so that's why I kind of wanted to show you guys. After building up my cheeks for a while, some of the issue I was having is that some of the cotton was getting stringy and coming down, so I was having a hard time peeling that back. Um, I know anyone else who watches special um, effects being placed on people's faces on YouTube probably knows Glam and Gore. And one of the things she sits there and says that you can use to kind of help blend um, edges and stuff like that is either alcohol or um, isopropyl. Isopropyl. Well, I can't say anything to my near state, um, which I had neither. So I tried using water, um, pulled some of that off, and then reapplying some latex to kind of blend the edges a little bit better. Kind of worked, kind of didn't, but it is what it is. So the Earl King, just to kind of give some more information about it, like what I said, it is a representation of death, but it is also a representation of the ending of um, innocence, which I found very very interesting um it has been shown in the grimm's tales um, but it's in a lot of uh, german literature as well one of the versions that i know i saw i'm not finding it here on the website that i pulled up but basically it one of the literatures talked about a father who was riding home on a horse with his son who was sick and his son kept saying that he saw the uh, elven king or the eller king in the forest and he was calling to him and basically by the time the father had gotten his son home his son had passed away which is really kind of morbid but it's kind of like the angel of death, I guess, in a way. Sorry, my camera only records for 30 minutes, so you might see some cuts. Um, but I basically did the same 
technique just using cotton ball with liquid latex on my jawline and now at this point in time what we're going to try to do is we're going to connect the high cheekbone with the um, jawline that you have made. Now at this moment is when I realize that one good thing to probably do just because I want it to look like there's no flesh underneath the connection, I went ahead and took some of my black water activated body paint and colored in between the high cheekbone and the jaw. That way you don't have to try to get in between the crevices later. It just makes it a lot easier. You can also, if you do want it to look more fleshy, you can use reds. You can go ahead and put a little bit of blood, even though that part you could probably do in between the crevices and it'd be fine. So hopefully you guys can see, obviously, again, like what I said, we're trying to connect some pieces of the cotton to the jaw. Um, it is very important, again, not to use too much cotton and to try to pull to kind of make it stringy. Um, and you want to try to make sure those pieces stay apart. That's some of the difficulty I had that you can tell is some of them clumped together so that made it look like huge pieces um, and didn't really come off the way that I wanted it to. So that's just kind of something to watch out for while you're doing something similar to that. So here is when we start painting. I take a plain white paint and I start painting all over my face. Um, I also take kind of a dark green um, to go into my eyebrows to make my brow bone a little bit more um, distinguished. Um, but I do end up going over it with some white to kind of blend it out just a tiny bit. Um, and in the next clip you will see there is a huge jump in what I have done and I'll try to explain what it is when I show you guys. obviously huge jump didn't realize my camera stopped rolling when I got to this point um, but basically what I did is I just took some grays and dark greens and filled in the outside of my face to try to keep the lighter parts the white on the highlighted parts I also went ahead and put some horns that I made from molding clay um, that I had painted brown um, and put some texture on and I put that on with some liquid latex I also went in with some body paint red potty paint and put it in the crevices to kind of make it look like there was blood in between um, and then also went ahead and did my nose kind of like I was a skeleton because obviously you can see in the picture the LR King doesn't really have a nose. So obviously there is a lot that I did um, in between this. Um, I really sucks. I don't have the footage for it, but we are here at this point. It is what it is. So, um, but again, a lot of it is just painting and then going over and layering to try to get a somewhat texture that you want, um, which I was kind of going for like a natural, like moldy, mossy kind of texture, like with grays and greens and stuff like that um, to go with this look. I am also going in with some eyeshadows at this point in time because we want to make the eyes look a little sunken in, but I didn't want to just go with black just because, again, the LR King, King of the Elves, you know, lives in the forest. So I went in with some Makeup Geek eyeshadow. I think it's the All of You um, Quad eyeshadows. And I went in with that dark green, like evergreen, and I, I put in a transition 
truthfully, I don't know why. I think it's just natural for me to put in a transition. But I did go in with that evergreen green and kind of started hollowing out my eyes. Again, to make me look less alive, um, more zombie-like, uh, more just kind of creepy is kind of what I'm going for. At this point in time, I am taking some elf ears that I bought on Amazon. Um, I got a pack of them that have different types of elf ears. They were very, very cheap. Um, but I am taking the same body paint that I used on my face and I am painting those elf ears to make them look a little bit more connected with my face. Um, these you can put on with latex or spirit gum or anything like that to make sure they stay in place. But since I wasn't going to have this on for very long, these I could just slide over my ears and they worked out perfectly fine. Now here's where you're going to have to forgive me because I don't have a lot of different outfits that could have worked for this. So this was a little like cardigan type thing um, that was green that kind of had like a plaid pattern on it that I thought would work well. So I kind of just put it on me backwards. It looks like a hot mess. I know. But bear with me, people. My main my main concern was just the makeup, okay? So this is kind of what we ended up with. Um, I also had a mala that had a jewel on it, so I put it kind of like a crown over my head for an extra accessory. Um, and again, this is not necessarily my favorite look, but this is one of my more intricate looks. Um, it did take about four hours to do. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, it was very relaxing, um, and I this is the first time that I've felt like super creative and like tried to do something with my own little twist on it. So I hope you guys liked this video. I do have some TikToks that um, have me performing in this makeup, so if you guys would like to see that, um, it is uh, Makeup Mama 94 on TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Love you.